carry that down. Hey team, welcome back to HG Design to Crochet, HGDC. I'm Heather, this is my channel all about granny squares, motherhood, owning a business and everything in between. If you are brand new, hi, hello and welcome. Thank you for giving my channel this chance. And if you are returning, what's good, what's happening, I hope that you tickety-boo. I've got a project that I want to share with you. It's actually now a finished object and it's behind me. It's behind me. We're going to do the... Okay. Ta-da! I finished it. This is my little pillow and I shared it with you in last week's vlog and you were all loving it so, so much. It's now a finished object. It's now ready to be called for testers and it has a name. So let me introduce you to Frilly, my new cute little cushion. This little cushion has been so much fun to work on and it just looks so cute on my sofa with all of the other patterns patterns cushions double knit acrylic yarn i used scraps to create two round granny squares i used the join as you go method although i have repeated colors i've done it really strategically so for example there is a red as an outer colour there and then a different shade red as a centre, but you won't find any other red in there. So each colour, if it has been re repeated, is an outer edge and a centre, but they have been placed far enough apart that, that you don't make that connection, which makes it look like it is all completely multicoloured and I love, love, love that. Then I joined the two panels together with this hot orange and then I did the frill. Last week I was asking you whether I should do the one or the two rounds. Are you okay Mr Albus? Oh okay. Last week I was asking whether I should do the one or the two rounds on the frill and most people said one round and I agreed that I preferred the look. However, I did do a second round technically, so let me explain. The first round was a tall stitch, like a treble. And then the second round, I was going to do the half, the half treble. So it was either going to be, it was going to be the treble, which in US is the double crochet. And then the second round was the half treble, which is the half double crochet in US terminology and instead I went with a single crochet so I think UK is a double crochet and in US is a single crochet which just reminds me I've put them the wrong way around in the patterns I need to change that um so it does have two rounds but they're not as tall and I didn't do the same amount of increases as what I was showing you last week <laughs> which means it is this cute cushion with a cute frill I know I called it a ruffle last week I really like the name frilly and it's so cute when Teddy says frilly as well so yeah really pleased with it I went with the crochet ties I'm just picking out the dog hair as usual I went with crochet ties that are bows can you see them there are one, two, three, four, five. I made them quite short. So they, they're not as obvious with the frill there as well. Like you can't as easily see, but they are there. And there's five of them. I did do two. And then I was um, at the weekend, I met up with Nicola. And I was like, what do you think to two? And then as soon as I said it, I knew like I need to do more. And she was like, well, you know, maybe you could get away with it. I was like, yeah, I know, I need to do more. So whilst we were having a chat, I did those. Um, yeah. What do you think? 
There was a suggestion in the comments, it might have been Lou. Was it you, Louise? That said, I could always give the option for people to make the frill bigger. So I guess if you wanted like the wild ruffle that you could do that. I also had an idea of maybe doing a second ruffle behind it in a different colour. And that won't, that won't leave my head. And I, when I purchased this cushion, it came in a pack of two, the cushion pads. So maybe I could make a second one and do the second frill. Might start that because it's a granny square project that I can just crack on with now. And then whilst it's testing, I can be making this alongside them. I can give the options for the second frill and make the sample why it's being tested. Yeah. Could do that. I do have quite a lot in my schedule as well at the moment. I'll have to think about it. So yeah, this is complete. Teddy has adopted this as, as his own. He'll ask for his little pillow. When he's snuggling into me, he'll ask for his little pillow. He puts his head against it and snuggles into me. And it's just the cutest thing ever. So I now have three crochet cushions on my sofa and they are all cute. They look really good together. This pattern is actually ready for testing. Can you hear the sofa creaking? It's not. Oh yeah, now don't do it. Oh my goodness. It always creaks and now I'm trying to make it creak, it won't. Typical, typical. This pattern is ready for testing. And my original plan which is still my plan, was to call for testers today when this video goes live and then the test will begin this Saturday. Which takes me into my second subject that Teddy hasn't been very well this week and Brad and I are also not feeling that well. So it is still my plan to call for testers. Look at those three like that. Oh. Um. And I will leave the link below if you'd like to be a tester. But please just bear with me because I might not have all of the admin side ready for when this video goes live. But if you come back in like 24 hours, the link will be there and you can sign up as a tester. Um, I'm looking for like 10 testers. And in terms of time, the test will be four weeks. It's a 10 inch. 10 inch cushion pad which is 25 centimeters and it's dinky and it's not a whole lot of work and I didn't weave in any of the ends on the granny squares I only wove in the ends for the orange and the and the um, ties so based on that I've set it at four weeks and in terms of the cushion pad I didn't realize so please forgive me one of my testers on comfy purchased the pad and I'd made a mistake and I'd put the cushion pad for that one in that test and she said that the cushion pads were really really expensive so apologies for my mix-up I have linked UK cushion pads so if you are not in the UK then please find cushion pads in your area because it'll be more affordable you don't have to have the specific one you just need the specific size so if you can get a 10 inch cushion pad for three dollars or whatever from a local shop or amazon U us then please do that but i don't expect you to spend loads of money on it these cost me six pound 99 for two seven pound for two and this one was like five pound from ikea so yeah so that's frilly I'm really pleased with it. I'm calling for testers. I'm gonna continue with that plan. As I said, Teddy's not been well. 
and I've decided that I'm not going to go into all of the details of his medical stuff because privacy reasons and opening myself up to criticism and just yeah but safe to say that he's not been well it kicked in on Sunday and here we are on Wednesday and <laughs> he's lovingly shared with Brad and I I started to feel unwell Monday afternoon at 24 hours after Teddy and Brad started to feel it today so he's like 48 hours he's always like two to three days after us but also I think that's a bit of a saving grace because at least we're not all been wiped out at the same time okay so I'm gonna say thank you for watching and head off now I really really enjoy our chats which is why I wanted to have my sit down today along the way uh in motherhood I have been learning <laughs> I mean that's such an understatement. You learn every single day. But one of my main things for me is in having a poorly child, how consuming it has been and how consuming it can be. And so just to have these moments are really, really crucial for me. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your comments. I love reading them. I love replying to them. This is this week's comment of the week. What do you think to the finished project? And I'll see you next week. Take care.